welcome back to another video. Today I am putting on these aftermarket wheels with BF Goodridge full train tyres. So I just wanted to talk a bit about the wheels before we get started. So this is obviously this is the steel wheel that came directly from Volkswagen. Uh, as you can see it's seen better days even though the van hasn't done too many miles. Um, so I'm going to be replacing it with those. I think the wheels, the tyres themselves probably would have fit on the steel alloy, but I quite like the way it looked to be honest, so being a bit of a tart there. Um, so one of the things, if you're not very familiar with wheels, um, and you're a bit worried about fitting them, fitting them to your crafter or your sprinter, and there's some things you want to know. Um, a lot of it's online, you can probably find out for yourself, but just a quick rundown. So obviously, you might know um, to look for the markings, um, let's say the width of the tyre, that's the first number, the height of the tyre wall, that's the second number, and then the R, the R number is the size of your, your wheel. One of the other numbers that are online when you're looking for alloy wheels, um, you'll find an ET number. Now, I don't actually know what ET stands for, so I'll find somewhere to put it on the screen what it actually means. Um, but what that is, is the, is the distance between the part of the wheel that actually bolts to the, to the disc, to the band, and what point that is across the wheel. Um, so for a crafter and a sprinter, it's ET62. Um, so that means that's how far in the, the bolting face comes in. If you get one that's different, it might be that you're, you move the face closer to the vehicle, which pushes the wheel away from it, or it might be that you pull the face closer to the outside of the wheel, which pulls the wheel further into the, into the van. So it might actually interfere with the vehicle, like the strut or the caliper, or it might just not fit. So just make sure that you check that number as well. That's just, just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not important. So just make sure that the vehicle wheels actually will fit your van. I'm sure whoever's selling them, if you know you've got any questions, just contact them. I'm sure they will. Um, I'm sure they'll help. I'm by no means an expert, and I've had to learn about this over a number of years. So before you start, make sure you crack off the nuts and uh, just loosen them ever so slightly, because when that vehicle's up in the wheel, up in the air, the wheel will spin if you're trying to put a lot of force on it. Um, so make sure you just loosen them off ever so slightly, just quarter of a turn, just to make sure that they're cracked off before you lift the vehicle up and then just put the wheel on. Put the bolts in, do it by hand so you don't cross thread the threads and then when you drop it back down, get a torque wrench, look up the correct um, uh, the correct torque setting for your vehicle and then get them nice and tight as per the, the spec. I'm using 180 Newton meters and that's what I found online. They're alloy wheels so I don't really want to go much tighter than that. So yeah. I'm just going to quickly say about the wheel I've got. So I've, used, I've plunged for the MSW 48 van. So this one is specifically designed to, for the weight of the vehicle. And um, as you can see, it's six six bolt for the, for the crafter and the fits the sprinter as well. Um, and then I've got some BF Goodrich short terrain tyres. Um, they're 225, 75, 16 for those of you that, that want to know. Um, so yeah, got some good meaty tread on them. Not the cheapest thing in the world. But I'm hoping that they will last a lot longer than the standard tread depth um, and perform better. So let's get on with it. Okay, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do is pull this cover off. It can be a little bit stiff. But it pops off. Just uh, just goes onto the nuts, onto the bolts. So there's no fixings or screws or anything. It just, just pulls off. So I just use like a little hook tool, little snap-on hook tool. So next, next I'm going to crack off the nuts. Uh, yeah, I see what you did there. So, just the right way. So remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. If it's a bit, if it's a bit tight, if you've got a, a bar or this is my jack handle, you can just extend the the leverage. Just there we go. See. Don't need to go much, just just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Not the most glamorous thing in the world. And then just go around each one in turn. So if I was to try and do this with it up in the air, the wheel would definitely spin. This one or not? No. Nope. There we go. Right. Okay, 
they're all loosened off. So let's get it up in the air and then get the wheel up. I've just checked the van up so that the wheel is now free to spin. You don't have to go too high with it because the higher it goes, obviously, the more unstable. It's not like to be unstable with the van, but anyway, don't want to go too high. I've gone a bit higher because I know that my tie walls are a little bit higher than um, than these ones. These ones are a 235-65, whereas I've got a 225-75 uh, going on there, so I know that the tires will be ever slightly bigger. So I've just allowed a little bit extra room. So if you just get it, so you can only just get your fingers underneath it, but the wheel can still move, just make sure that what you're going to be putting on there will actually go on there. So anyway, less talking, less more doing. Let's get this off. I do have a nut gun, which would make this a lot quicker. But I'm doing it by hand because, well, you guys might be doing it by hand as well. So you can see, oh, no, there you go. See if that was too tight, the wheel would have spun, and there's no way that I would have got that. So. So what I did there, it was a little bit tight, so I just sort of gave it a bit of a knock with my hand, just to free it up, and that spins free, that's the last one, and the wheel and I come off. There we go, simple as that. So the, uh, the seller that sold me these wheels was kind enough to include some new wheel bolts, not too sure if you can see them, they're black on my black gloves, um, including a, a locking wheel nut, uh, a, well, a locking wheel bolt, these are bolts, not nuts, um, so good of them, it's always good to use new bolts when you're fitting, fitting new things. Right. Here's the new wheel. Techniques I like to use when fitting wheels is sit astride the wheel using your feet because once you lift it up, you can then support it there, support the weight with your feet. It's a bit risky because if the vehicle drops, it can crush your feet. But we do have an axle stand, so we're hoping it's not going to happen. Okay, so now that we're at the stage of tightening the wheel bolts, I've done this bottom one and top one just finger tight to uh, to keep the wheel there. You want to um, you want to tighten them up in opposites in some sort of star fashion, so that the wheel gets pulled in square and doesn't end up on a on a wonk and then wobble as it's going down the road. So you know it's nice and tight and it's flat up against the brake disc or the brake hub. So done that one by hand, done that one, we'll do this one next. Just do it by hand just to get it so not one, one is not more tight than the other and that way it'll always go down flat. You can see, I don't know if you can see that the wheel's ever so slightly moving. Need the locking wheel nut key for that, there we go. Just square itself up on the on the disc. I 
There we go, so they're all sort of finger tight. Oh look, this one's come loose now that we've now that we've tightened the other ones down slightly. And you just go around in that staff pattern. Just doing them all hand tight. Because any more than that, and you'll find if you try and ratchet on it, the wheel will spin. That's what I was talking about earlier. So we'll let the van down now, put the weight on it, and uh, we'll get the, the torque wrench out and um, we'll torque these up. Okay, that's the van back to its full weight, so we'll torque these up. Again, going around in that start pattern. There we go, that's the click. So I want to go around until it clicks. I just like to start the one and just go around, double check and all the right talk. Last thing you want is a wheel coming off at 70 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour. That's going to end badly. There we go. That's it fitted. So one of the last things I want to say to you guys is I weighed the original wheel, um, the steel wheel with the tyre on it, um, and then I weighed this one. The original steel wheel was actually about 27 kilos, and this one was about 32. So with four of them, that's adding about 20 kilos of weight to my van, which my van's pretty close to the, the limit of what it needs to be. Um, so it's just worth bearing in mind that it's not always, you know, not always replacing like for like when it comes to weight. Anyway. That's putting tyres and wheels and tyres on the uh, on my crafter. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, let me know if there's anything that you would have done differently, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you very much.